Good evening, Sarju family. Welcome back to another vlog. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. We are back with another vlog for Vlogtober episode 13. I think this is episode 13. I feel like something is missing with my outfit. One sec. Outfit completed. Vote for Pedro. If you know where this is from, let me know in the comments below. The only thing I'm missing is the wig, which I have it, but I'm not allowed to put wigs on my head just yet. I did get myself a little Napoleon. Oh, nice. Napoleon dynamite. Nice. I look pretty bad, don't I? I just keep making myself look better these past couple of days. You can try them on. They'll probably look better on you. <laughs> hey, they actually look good on you. It makes me look like a weird teacher. No, it's because you have like that headband and it makes you look like those, you know, like those working out. You look exactly like the person. I wouldn't want to say it. Working out? What do you mean? No, like, you know, like those sweatbands. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, or, like, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just missing the hair for this, like, Napoleon Dynamite outfit. I picked this up from the Halloween store before I left to Turkey. <laughs> what happened? What is going on with you? Wait, what happened to her? I don't know. She, what happened? There's a monster? What do you mean there's a monster? What are you talking about? What did you, what did you see? Show me. <laughs> are you okay? She almost it. She always does this. Like she gets scared of something. What happened? Show him. What happened? There's nothing here. You know monsters don't exist in the house, right? Daddy? Yeah. Uh, I see something. I see something what? in my room. I see a boogie in my room. A boogeyman? In my room. In your room? No, you probably saw your own reflection in the window, silly girl. I can't, but it's half like lights. <laughs> okay, let me turn on the lights for you. Hello? Yo, I need your help. hold on a sec, Shadia, because we actually had some paranormal stuff happen here today. Oh so God. we're just chilling, right? We're just chilling and having dinner earlier around like 7 p.m. And all of a sudden we hear a loud bang in the garage. I get out there, I don't notice anything, but then I'm checking my cameras and I realized the table in the garage somehow flew off of there like it's been there it it's been there loud. forever it was loud it was loud it's been there for absolutely forever it's crazy and yet again some more paranormal stuff is happening in my garage it's did always, any it's always like the garage did anything happen while i was gone or is it only when i came back i've heard noises she heard noises but we never like <laughs> went to check because we're too scared <laughs> <laughs> Man, we need to cleanse this house set it on fire or something get rid of all these spirits not set it on fire that is insane like it totally just flipped over on its own i don't get how it just did i know it doesn't make sense look at this one please don't wake her up Hello, little cutie. No, she just finally went to sleep. Hello, little cutie. You can go back to sleep. <laughs> You're so cute. Rhonda, don't wake her up now. So as I told you guys in previous vlogs, these next videos are gonna be house videos because I can't go nowhere because my surgery is still healing. I don't wanna talk about the surgery today because we've done that in the last three vlogs and I'm sure you guys are sick of it, but I appreciate you guys for all the support, honestly. You guys have done so much for me, have been commenting so much positive stuff and I really do appreciate it. I know I still look like a goofball, but you know what? This is Mo Sarji. And if I'm gonna be a goofball, then I might as well do it in style. So yeah, this is such, I love this shirt. <laughs> I need to make shirts like this. Vote for? Pedro. Pedro. Vote for Pedro. So what are you doing here, Pedro? Uh, I'm making your coffin. Cough? Whoa, 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 chill out, bro. <laughs> I'm making your coffin. <laughs> what are you making? Um, Tell DIY us. DIY coffin. DIY coffin for what? Tray. A tray, like a yeah. candy tray? Yeah. Man, you've got like full Halloween mode this like year. Like the, you know those security board, security words? How yeah. How do you say it? Shakurdi, uh -huh. shakurdi doody board. <laughs> what? Shakurdi doody. <laughs> Please don't do that dance. <laughs> I just lost 20 subscribers because of you. <laughs> I can't take myself serious. <laughs> no, Honestly, you shouldn't uh, <laughs> with that dance. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought you had rhythm. I thought you could dance. I do, but I'm not gonna dance ba right back now. When we first met, you used to send me videos of you dancing. What are you talking and about? And like, and like, you were so good at it. You danced to like African music, and like, it was like your thing, your vibe. You know, <laughs> what happened? Why to are your you rhythm. Exposing me. You used to have rhythm. I always have rhythm. I well, still have well, rhythm. Show us the dance. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I need help because I'm making a DIY board a coffin board to put like candy and chocolates and all that because i'm taking it to a halloween party but yeah which been, i'm not invited to I've girls been, only i've been struggling because the exacto knife that i had was so bad it wasn't cutting straight and it was like 
So now I have one last board and you're put to the test to fix it. Really? Yeah, I'm usually bad at arts and crafts, but okay. No, like I just need you to like- uh, Oh man. Yeah, see? No, so this is fine. Cause I'm going to cover it up, you know? Uh -huh. And I have like things up my sleeve that I'm going to do. Okay. But let's, let's do the borders now. So you actually want me to help you? Yes. Okay. So I, I'll I give will you the help you. I will help you. But after I help Shadia, which I'm going to vlog this after I help Shadia, I actually, I want to show you guys something, something. I help you, Mama. So as my, you. yeah, you okay, want to help too, baby? You. So as you guys know, my birthday is on November 3rd and you guys know be fit now, Canada, okay, like the gym you. equipment company has I been sending you. me so much product from my gym. Yeah. They sent me two more machines today, like really big ones. You guys are not going to want to miss. So make sure to stick around through this video so you guys can actually see the machines that they sent me. Shadia has only seen one of the machines. But she hasn't seen the one that's in the basement. Oh, yeah. Dude, I forgot this, about dude, that. Dude, I've wanted this forever. And they sent me this as a birth, like these two I machines. I need to test it out. You, you want to test it out now or after? Uh, let's do it after. This way, like, we get the hard work done and then we deserve it. You know what I mean? Well, okay, we'll, we'll do it after. But this is a machine uh -huh. that I've been wanting for a long time and it's very beneficial. Let's but, just go do it. Uh, let's just go do it. We're, we're going to show you guys one machine now and one machine at the end of the vlog. You guys know I love my gym equipment, but this one is by far the coolest one. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Let me go down first. Let me go down first. I'm telling you guys, this machine is banging. Close your eyes, Mom. Close your eyes, Mom. <laughs> you, you've already seen it, Ronnie, you little monkey. Come on down. All right, Shadi, here we go. You can open your eyes. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god, it's like a full out machine. Right? Look, they sent me a massage yeah, chair. <laughs> Be what, fit is now. This real? Canada. Yes, it's real. Oh <laughs> they I need it me, right now. I know. This thing I've is. Been needing a massage. Dude, it does your arms oh. too. Like you put your arms in these things and it compresses your arms and your legs. Is it on? Does Dude, it work? I think so. Well, you gotta hit the power button. There you go. And it like, it sits backwards. Like I, I actually haven't even tested it out. Oh, oh look, it's moving back please, already. Please like charge people if they try going. Well, should, should we open up a spa? Yeah. We have the massage chair. We got the tanning bed. We got the sauna. <laughs> Put your hand in there, see what happens. I actually haven't tried it. So I want to get your reaction. Oh God. What's this happening? Is a legit yeah, I mean, chair. it's a legit massage chair. Look at how, how cool and futuristic it looks. <laughs> Oh Big God. shout out to Be Fit Now, man. I need it right now. Oh, it's like under your butt too, like those bones, you know that, like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but like it says. So to... <laughs> Her face. Is it beautiful? Is it beautiful, Rania says. Wow, this is amazing. Really? Oh. <laughs> you've, been, you've been wanting to go to masseuse. <laughs> oh, it's like literally under. <laughs> is it actually? Like you can feel the bones. I, I haven't tried it yet, so these. It feels so good. So the Beef It Now crew showed up and, and put this together um, a few hours ago. My legs are stuck. My legs yeah, because it's, it's doing your legs. Does it feel good? Oh <laughs> Why do you look like something giving birth right now? It's so strong. <laughs> like, you know when you go to the nail salon and they give you the massage chairs, there's like... Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, but those ones hurt. Yeah, th this one... No, but this one is like... Oh my god, my, my calves are getting massaged. Oh, really? So okay, so I'm... You're gonna love this. Yeah, especially for your calves. Dude, Mama. shout out to Be Fit Now Canada. I'm gonna leave their link in the description below. You like it? I love it. You want to try it too? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's let's ex explore the options here. Yeah, we'll see what kind of options. You go, you go ahead and and do something like as a surprise, okay? Uh, like a surprise button? Yeah, yeah. Like you do something All that right. I won't know. Look at this interface that they give you. That's pretty cool. Yeah, like it's a um, screen. Hmm. Oh. Airbags. Oh, they got airbags. They got shoulders, position, foot oh, okay. roller. If my arms were inside this right now, which is that's the airbag, which is impossible to put back in because all right, let's, I, I don't know what to, to, to hit to be honest. Is it touch screen? Oh, it's pretty much doing everything for you right now. Uh huh. Oh, oh. Let's see the mode two, three. Oh my god, my arms are like literally getting squashed. There's too. mode four. <gasps> I don't know what mode four is, but it looks pretty intense. Just don't crush me. <laughs> I feel like my hands are getting crushed. <laughs> are they? But like, like not. But in a good way. But like in a good way, yeah. So I remember I used one of these at like an Airbnb one time, and I fell in love with it, and I've I wanted never, one forever. I've never tried a massage chair before. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've, I've tried like the I shitty ones, but. Mommy, give me a kiss. <laughs> I can't reach you. <laughs> what a time to get a kiss. I, I can't reach you. <laughs> <laughs> give her a kiss, Rodney. Give, give her a kiss. Give her a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I've just learned something new. If I ever want to trap my wife, I'm a trapper in this chair. Uh, are you good? So good? Bro, you need to What is going on? 
<laughs> wait, actually, actually, like, like, you're not acting, like, actually, wait, I got it, level what? Why? You, you get 15 minutes my, of this. Under my butt, it goes, <laughs> it's, like, it's like someone's kicking me. <laughs> but, like, in a good way, right? Yeah, but it's, it's a funny feeling. I gotta try it out. Oh, they're really massaging it. <laughs> I gotta try it out. <laughs> All right, I turned it off for Shadia. I gotta get in this thing later. It feels um, so good. That, okay, I'm gonna try this out later tonight. No, you Yo, should I should like out. put this in front of my editing station and just edit and get a massage the entire. <laughs> like, I don't think you'll be able to focus. I'll probably fall asleep it's if I did it. Up. Really? <laughs> Come on out, Shadia. Strong stuff. Really? Oh no, I can't get up. <laughs> oh. I love you. Oh, Ronnie, you're so special. Give me a kiss now. Oh, you guys are Thank special. You, baby. I love you guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go in. What's that? You need to try it. Yeah, but can you try it because of your head? I don't want to try it right yeah, now. I'll try it later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they did send me a second machine. I was going to put it there, but it won't fit. I mean, the, ma oh, <clears throat> the machine itself fits, but to, to actually use it, our head will be hitting the ceiling. The basement ceiling is only eight feet high. It's not high enough. The machine is about 7.5 feet high, but to get on top of it, you need at least nine feet of clearance. Okay. So it's, it's not going to work out, so we ended up putting it in the garage, but I will show it to you guys soon. Let's go and check out Shadia's DIY. You know what? Let's just go show them the machine yeah, in the garage. Let's, go. let's just get, go. Get the machines done. And then yeah, yeah. Really All right. focus. All right. We're going to show you guys the machine, and then we're going to show you guys Shadia's DIY coffin. She's making like a creepy haunted coffin for Halloween. All right. So this is the chair that flipped over by itself. It pushed the vacuum somehow too. I don't know what the hell happened, but something happened. You know what it looks like happened? It looks like this Hit it, but somehow I pushed the table. But that's Ow. been there forever, dude. No, I don't think so. This is the new machine that they sent me. They sent me a Stairmaster, which is pretty wild. I've been wanting one of these forever. Shadia has two. But the problem is we cannot use it in the basement, in the gym. Way too high. Yeah, it'll go way too high. You can so, literally touch the heater from here. Yeah, so we can just keep it here in, in the garage. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep it in the garage. We do have heat, so in the winter we'll just- yeah, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate. <laughs> I just look like a bum right now. I so. wouldn't demonstrate, you know, it's just not appropriate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, um, I, I look like a bum right now. No, you All don't. Right. So, just don't look at my glutes too much. <laughs> yeah, this thing's pretty cool. Oh my god. Oh, look, you got a safety button here. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really good for me. Oh, well, what the heck? All right, so I didn't know that. That's cool. Can I make it faster? All right, so that's stop. Go faster. All right. Daddy. Dude, I love this. I want, like, I, I always wanted one. Me too. And now we have okay, stop. That's enough because, you know, you just did something. Yeah, I'm, and not, I'm not allowed to exercise. Yeah, you should have turned it off. Um, It just stays like that. No, it turns off. You can press stop. Green, red. There like, you stop. It's just, it's just off. Oh, really? Are you sure? Yeah, it's because it's plugged in. So, yeah, that was the machine that BeFit now sent me as well. What? Are you doing it backwards? My legs are too short. Let's see, wait, go up on top. Go all the way to the top. Let's see how you look when you're all the way up top. All right, here we go. Yeah, like in the basement, no, no, no. So in the basement, I can stand and touch that eight feet with my hands up. Are you gonna try it? Yeah. What? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Did I'm you just... ever use this when you used to go to an actual gym? Did Anytime Fitness have one? I've had it somewhere. When we used to go to Anytime Fitness, I think. Yeah, they had one, yeah, right? Back in the day, yeah. Yes, they had one, yeah. yes. And and I would sweat so much because, yeah. oh, like just five minutes on it, it's like a killer workout. Yeah. And you know, I kind of like it being in the garage because it cools it's, you? Cold, it's cold out here, so you can yeah. do more. Like you're not going to sweat right away. So it's perfect. Yeah, this is really good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hello? <laughs> Who are you talking on the phone? Tiny tools. Uh, Say hello to for me. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Can you, can, you, can you actually do me a favor? Can you order me a pizza? Okay. Thank you. Hello? I'm Danny Pizza from my dad and mommy and Leila and Raya. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> you gotta tell them the toppings. What kind of toppings you want on the pizza? Um, kaka. Kaka? No, tell them what you want on the pizza. Hello? How do you do? I get I need um healthy uh pizza and french fry, ketchup, 
Ready, Kitcha? Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Did you see what she ordered? A healthy pizza with ketchup. french fries, spicy ketchup. Oh. She said spicy. You want spicy ketchup? Not you. But wait, you forgot to order me, what's it called? Thin crust? And you forgot to order me cheeseburgers, so you gotta call them back. Okay, hello. Uh, hello? Okay, I need cheese cracker and cheese. <laughs> you forgot my order. <laughs> I asked for a thin crust. Can you tell them I also want chocolate bars and Coca-Cola? Hello? I need chocolate bars. <laughs> this is why having children is the greatest thing on earth. Honestly, it really is. Like the, the things they do, it just makes you so happy. Now for some, you might not appreciate this, but I absolutely do. And the fact that I can capture these moments on camera, it is absolute heaven for me. What are you thinking about, Pinky? Are you ready to do your coffin? We're gonna do your coffin now. All right, let's help Shadia, guys. Let's help her do her coffin. When you go to the store, make sure you always like, I know it's not like allowed, but do it anyways. Oh yeah, yeah. dude, she showed me this. Like she, when I was in Turkey, she's like, I just bought peanut butter and look what I found when she opened it. Like we did not, guys, I promise you, we would never lie about this. This mm -hmm. is serious. I was literally craving uh, peanut butter yesterday and I bought this from Walmart and guess what happened? I opened the cap and I literally found <gasps> holes inside the cap. Oh my God. Kashi, Keep in Kashi, mind, Kashi, I've never Kashi, opened this. Kashi. Show it to Rania. Kashi. It's already open? Yep. And there's peanut butter on the cap. And Wait, look I, at that, look at that. And I even showed his sisters and they're like, yeah, I would not touch that. Like, it looks like someone did something shady to yeah, it. Yeah, it looks like somebody stabbed yeah. holes in it. What like, the hell? So do you think somebody like tampered that or was that like maybe like yeah. a defect from, yeah. it's gotta be somebody tampering with it. I think someone tampered with it. Yeah. And that's why I would advise you guys to always check like, you know, any like jars that you buy, like yeah. that have like these kinds of, uh, what are they called? Seals, seals, like the seals, yeah. yeah. Just, just open it and then make sure there's a seal and that there's nothing wrong with the seal because even like when you buy something in the grocery store, it's never guaranteed that someone doesn't touch it. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. But like, I remember a few years back for Halloween, we would receive candy and also like some of them would be like unwrapped from the wrapper. And like, I don't know if you guys remembered, I don't know if you know, like when you used to trick or treat, they used to put like razors inside the candy. Yeah, but we ne I've never and found like, that or seen that. Like in person, I, I know. know I know that like on the news, it would scare. Really big. Yeah, yeah, and like people would inject things into the candy for yeah, kids. Yeah, like, people. That's why I'm like, oh my god, I would never touch this. Yeah, and his sister's like, we gotta said, return that. Or his like sister throw it out. said, like, don't even bother. Yeah, like I would not eat it. I would not trust it. And yeah, because like you never know what someone's done to it. Yeah, it's pretty sketchy to be honest. Really, that's yeah. crazy. I've never seen that before. Yeah, because like if the seal is broken. Like, Somebody had to have tampered with it. There's no just, way it's gonna come broken from yeah, the factory. Yeah, and I actually, one time, I also bought like a yogurt from the store and it looked like it was like, someone took a bite out of it. Oh, shit. And then put it back on the shelf and then I bought it and I didn't realize it until I opened it. And like, that's why I'm just like, if you know that there's things that have seals, double check the seal before buying it. All right, let's throw that out and move on to the next thing. Shadio is going to build a coffin. I'm gonna help her. We're just gonna show you guys the finished version once we're done. Um, she's just using glue and some cardboard cutouts. So let's let's do this. Progress on Shadia's coffin. I've been helping her behind the scenes. Honestly, without me, she would not have a coffin, so. What are you talking about? <laughs> I did the base. All I literally did was just cut these two pieces out. This actually does look like a coffin. You're doing a pretty good job. Really? Yeah. It needs to still work, but it's getting there. Let's get in there. It's getting there. So we need to do the, the edges. So hold this up for a second. I wanna see if I have any pieces that actually fit here. Damn. Shadia, the crafts person. It's like arts and crafts class back in high school. Or was that in high school or yeah, below high school? Was it arts and crafts arts and crafts in high school or before high school? In I high school. Is it? Arts and crafts? Yeah. Yeah, I took it for four years. <laughs> Not arts and crafts, but I took art class and arts and craft, art history. I took art class too because it was so easy. Okay, you guys. So Mo is currently putting Rania to bed and I was told to show you guys my update on my coffin tray for candy. And this is how it looks so far. Pretty good, I think. Like, obviously um, you can see like the glue on the inside here and you can see the glue on the outside, but it's fine. I have an idea for this. Like I'm going to like either like cover it in glitter, black glitter, or I'm gonna put like paper inside to like cover it up. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but as you can see, it looks pretty good. Like I'm pretty proud of like how it turned out to be. 
like it's not perfect but it looks decent and it looks like a coffin let's just look at it this way you see it's pretty big i'm gonna fill it up a lot with a lot of candy a lot of chocolate a lot of like you know cookies brownies like i will show you guys once the day comes what i fill it up with but i also got like this little skeleton that i'm gonna put like maybe in the center i think it looks so nice and then i'm gonna put like a little more accessories you know like little decors to go with the coffin but yeah look at the mess i have to clean up right now i made a big big mess so before i continue to do anything with the coffin i'm gonna clean up the mess and let me show you what I have. I have this. If you guys don't know what this is, well now you know. It's amazing. It's like glue, but at the same time, it dries clear and glossy. I actually use this product for the wall over there that's sparkly. The whole entire wall is made with that. And it looks so nice. A lot of adults with, you know, parents with children, when they put their kids to bed, and they accidentally put themselves to bed too. Just woke up from a little nap. I fell asleep. Oh, you seriously? Yeah, I went to put Ronnie to bed while Shadia was doing this, yeah. and I fell asleep. It I was, was so good up, too. I was cleaning up. I vacuumed. Look at the best. Oh, nice. It's not messy. <laughs> but anyways, hey, this I looks show good. You. So I'm actually like thinking maybe this skeleton guy is a little too small now. Maybe I could use the one that's outside. Yeah, you could get something else. Or, I mean, it's cool. Bigger. It's it's gonna do its function. I have I have like a, a skull, but it's not too big either. But anyways, I. I'm so proud of it. I think it looks good. I think you should turn it into a Ouija board. No. <laughs> so um, obviously I'm not gonna leave it like this because mm -hmm. this looks unfinished. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm thinking to put glitter on the outside. Well, it's not a bad idea. Whole, a whole thing, but black glitter. Okay, well, so. if you guys wanna see the finished version of this, you'll see it in tomorrow's vlog. I'm gonna go ahead and end off this video. <gasps> Oh, Shadi made a mess. I'm gonna go ahead and end off this video because I need some rest. I am tired. I'm gonna send my footage, my editor, to edit this vlog for you guys because I have to also edit a main channel video. So my editor is gonna edit this vlog and I'm Whoa. gonna edit a main channel video. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Layla is being so bad. Why? Like, okay, I don't know if anyone has dealt with this before, but she's eating her fist and her thumbs and mm. everything. I keep changing her mittens, I keep cutting her nails, and then yeah. she like, she looks like Scarface right now. Yeah, she's, she, she's honestly I, scratched up her I face. I tied her hands up, and look what she's doing underneath the blanket. Tied her, you mean like wrapped her in a blanket? Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Please put the mittens back on her. Hey, hey cutie pie. Why are you scratching yourself? Oh, look at that. You scratch yourself on your head, cutie pie. Cutie pie, cutie pie. <laughs> I'll fix you up, don't worry. We're gonna put glitter in the glue. You're gonna put glitter in the I already glue. told them about this glue. You've like, done it, you did the walls. The whole wall, yeah. but let's see if the black glitter is satisfying. Ooh. Oh, that looks so cool. Okay, just wait, let me mix it up a little bit. So glittery. Okay, wait, wait. I even have like a test piece to see if it actually looks nice or not. Damn, you gotta start making these coffins and selling them. No, I know. I'm sure I, you could have just bought one from like a Halloween store, but. No, I looked everywhere for something that I wanted. <clears> Nothing <throat> came to life. You know, like for mm -hmm. my vision. So I had to create it. If you want something, you gotta make it, you know? Yeah, true, true. Oh my God, okay, wait. So keep in mind, this glue is look, looks white right now, but it actually dries clear and then the, the sparkles will shine through. So I'm gonna test out. I think it needs more sparkles. Of course. <gasps> oh, it's not that much. Sparkle <laughs> queen, that's a lot of sparkles. This is why I have this white piece of paper underneath because I know I'm gonna be fussy. Rania, if she was awake right now, oh she would not let me do anything. She would put this over her face. That's why yeah. I had to put her to bed. I had to let Shadia finish her work. Yeah. Okay, like, let's test it out. And it's probably going to take a minute to dry. And obviously, you're going to need, like, some layers. I would say, like, two coats. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you guys seen the process. Tomorrow, we'll show you guys the finished Yay, version of this. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's going to look sick. I, mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Shadia paints the walls black with black sparkles now. Don't have <laughs> On that note, I love you guys. Don't forget to be, do, stay positive. Leave a little merch down in the description below. And I promise you guys, tomorrow I will finish Halloween merch. It will be done tomorrow. And in tomorrow's vlog, I will show it to you guys and you guys can get it. You can kind of already see the sparkles. No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> Live a little, guys. See you on the next one.